Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Guacamelee, where we're trying to take on a nasty teleporting platform puzzle here, in a hidden area in Sierra Morena. And so far, we've been having a bit of trouble with it. It has definitely been a cause of many a death, but we might be able to get further this time, as it looks like we're doing okay. Oh, that was not where I meant to go. I'm gonna go this way, and up, and then over, and then up. I have no idea where my long-term goal is here, but I'm guessing it's up. Oh, we missed. Up and to the right, as it generally is with games like this. Now it's up to here, down to there, up to there. Oh, boy. Okay, we made it. That wasn't so bad. We failed a whole bunch of times on this before. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so bad. There we go. First time after we come back. Chuck Moore once again. I'd love another power-up orb, please. Thank you kindly. Twing! I'm guessing there's only one more piece to find. I th well, there's six. There's definitely six. There's two more pieces to find, but... The one that I thought was going to be in hell wound up not being there, so I don't know. Don't know where it's going to be. We'll have to look around very carefully to find the last ones, I'm guessing. And where does this go? Oh! Hey, that's neat! It drops you way, way back over here. Huh. Do we have everything in Sierra Morena now? No, we do not. We're still missing some of the Sierra Morena stuff. I'm not sure where it is, though, because we've looked through most of the map, and so far... Unless there's something hidden away over there. It looks like there might be something hidden away over there. But that's where we got the power-up, wasn't it? Hmm, I thought that was where we got the power-up. I'm a bit confused now. We're gonna leave Sierra Morena. I think. Hmm, very strange though. There's some weird stuff going on around these levels now. We'll see what we can find as we run, but definitely some bizarre shenanigans going on. Alright, keep running. Now if we go... Yeah, we want to go to the lower exit here. Up this way, fantastic. We can use this wall here to boost across this way. I don't think we're... Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything out here. Nope. Maybe there's something hidden away over here, though, perhaps. We didn't check down here. There's nothing. Okay. Nothing hidden away over there, either. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so it looks like there really is not much else here. There is that one area back at the top that we're going to have to go back and look at, but I guess the best way to get there is to go to the bottom and just teleport back. Because from here, after we jump off this ledge, we'll be able to... Ooh, hang on, now i got a question. If I go this way... Do we find anything exciting over here? Nope. We just fly into the next area. <laughs> Hello, Temple of Rain. I do believe we've finished everything in the Temple of Rain, though. It is a gold area, yeah. Okay. So we're getting everything slowly but surely. Let's teleport back up to the top of the Sierra Morena, so we can go find out what's hidden away in that top area. The other thing is, I don't know if it's because we haven't gone all the way to the end over here yet, either. Oh! Like this! You jerk of a game! <laughs> you hide it right there! Okay, now do we have everything? Now we have everything! Well, that would explain it, wouldn't it? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's mean. Okay, I think we, go, we gotta go back to Santa Lucita, though, because there's something hidden back in here. It might be a quest or something we haven't finished. But there's definitely a lot of potential for things being hidden away in here. Just not sure where it'll be. Apparently there's something, though. Perhaps we missed a, uh... Oh, what am I trying to say? I don't even know. Whatever, I'll talk to this friend. That's the trumpet guy. I don't see much in most of these places. She's already helped us with her quest to make the world's best burrito. Enchilada, rather. Oh, hello. Oh, these guys are waiting in line for the best burrito. 
<laughs> well, that's kind of funny. I hadn't noticed that before. And I go in here. Neither worlds can you go in Teddy's Tacos or Sam's Sombreros. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder where we have to go. Oh, you know what? I better know what it is. We haven't been to Combo Chicken in a while. I bet you have to do some Combo Chicken challenges. Let's try this. Alright. We gotta jump, smash him down, smash him over, jump, hit him three times. Fantastic. Easy peasy. These combos get a bit silly, though. We go up, jump, hit him, hit him, up, hit him, down, smash him, over, and he went the wrong direction. That would have been easy if the game decided to let us do it the right way. Up, jump, nope. <laughs> Combo chicken, you are a jerk. These things are evil. Up. Jump, hit him, hit him, up, hit him, down, smash him, dash him, headbutt him. Nope, didn't let me do the headbutt. Well, we're getting there. The headbutt! Just doesn't connect. Too far away. Maybe we keep him close to the wall, that would work. This guy is definitely a jerk. Just headbutt him. Stop doing the dash and headbutt him. Okay. Up. Hit him. Hit him. Up higher. Hit him. Down. Smash down on him. Dash into him. Headbutt him. There we go. Got it. Whew. So this time we have to dash and chase him. Dash him, chase him. Hit him three times in the air. Dash him. What? Really? Dash again in the air? Okay. You dash further than he goes. You go dash. That's a weird combo. Dash, roll, uppercut, hit, 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 dash, jump, X, 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 B. That's a weird combo. Because you miss him if you dash, if you're too close to him when you start your dash. Hit, hit, hit. Over. Over already. Jeez, no, he wouldn't let he wouldn't do it that time. Dash into him, roll under him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, dash him, jump, hit him, hit him, hit him, headbutt him. Good. Got it. Those are some nasty combos. You are truly amazing, Luchador. Have you ever seen anything like that, Poncho? Poncho? No, Poncho. Don't go into the light. Poncho! How will I find the strength to go on without you? You are the only true friend I've ever had. Well, we killed Poncho. And we got our last spirit chunk out of it, too. I guess it's finishing all the quests, too. Poncho, you were so brave. Well, <laughs> we killed Poncho. Thanks, Combo Chicken, for teaching us all those combos and let us kill your ally. What will I do now? We were already working with just a skeleton crew. Ugh, the puns. The puns! Alright, is that everything in here? That's everything in Santa Lucida. Now we just have to go back and finish the Forest del Chivo and Tool Tree, as well as finding out whatever else is to be had in the Infierno. I'm guessing it has something to do with this switch, though. Hmm. Or perhaps that hole at the bottom, which didn't seem to make much sense either. What we're going to do is, though, we're going to go to the Tool Tree and see if we can figure out whatever's, whatever's over there, because there definitely seems to be something in there that we've missed. Possibly something to do with the fact that we can fly now. There we go. Tool tree it is. What can we find here? There's a big tree area. It might be something over in these outside parts. I'm guessing that's kind of what it probably has to be. Because the central tree looks pretty well completed. I don't see anything obviously left undone there. So let's go inside and see if we can find out something in these outdoor areas. We can run up the walls now, which makes a lot of this puzzling a lot easier. There we go. We can just ignore most of these guys, although we do have to go up this side. I could potentially try and run up the green area as well to get out of here quicker, but... 
Oh, this is an area I can't grab onto the walls in, so I can't even cheat my way out. I actually have to go up it legitimately again. What do you know? Alright. Once we get to the outdoor areas, we can check around and see what else is actually hidden out here. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot. But we're gonna have to look around pretty thoroughly, otherwise who knows what we might be missing. We've already found the treasure chest that was hidden up in that area at the top there. What about anything hidden off the map over here? Big drop, nothing appears to be down there though. There might be something over to the top right? Nope, there's a god ray that comes from nowhere, but... There's nothing else actually over there, okay. So this area does not appear to be where the mystery, mysterious missing items come from. Oh yeah, I can't dodge through that. It's a fireball. Fire weapon, rather. Okay, fair enough. Back in the tree. Let's try the other door. Where does this go? Oh. I just missed this door, I guess. That would explain why we never found it. Oh, just missed the platform there. That's fine, though. This is probably another heart piece, which should explain why that isn't completed. Whoops. So easy to mess these jumps up. <laughs> okay, there we go. The problem is, too, you have no time for error. Oh, you can't... Whoop! No, 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 uh. no, can't do it. We're done. <laughs> you gotta go back to the bottom. That's an interesting little tricky part there. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get through that. I assumed it was gonna be based around using your uh, double jumps and abilities to dash into the middle, which is probably actually all it is. Ah! Of course we fall down again, though. All right. This is going to be easier than I'm making it out to be. There we go. Touch the ground. That's what we needed. There we go. That's what we needed. It's a spirit piece. Didn't we just have a full spirit container, though? So that means there's even more spirit pieces we've missed somewhere else. I'm assuming there's an even, like, a full number of all those items. Hmm. That's interesting. So is that this area completed, then? Yeah, the tool tree is full now. Interesting. I wonder what else is hidden away, then. Gotta wonder. Also, I wonder as well if those uh, portals should count as completing the area. Because if they don't show up when you've completed an area, it might make it harder to go back and find them. We'll drop down again to the bottom, though, and see what else we can uncover here. We're making good progress towards finding all the loot. So that's good news. Back out again to our portal. Where do we need to go now? I think we just need to figure out whatever's hidden in Santa... Eh, no, we got Santa Lucita. It's just the Forest del Chivo now. And whatever's in the Great Temple. There might be another couple upgrades in there, which could explain why we're still missing some things. But I have to wonder, because, like... We've gotten everything here in Pueblucho. We've gotten everything in the Mansion del Presidente for sure, because there was nothing in there. The Agave Field, we got everything we could get. I think. Why isn't it letting me look at this map properly? Let's just travel over to the Forest del Chivo and we'll work it out from there. Alright. But, uh... We know there's a strange thing over here. There's a mystery block over here. And there's a mystery switch over here, none of which we've figured out yet. Everything else looks as though we've completed it properly. Hmm. If we look at the rest of our map, what I was trying to say was, if we look at Preblucho, it's finished. If we look at the Agave field, it looks pretty much finished. We found the portal there. Tool Tree, we found a portal. Santa Lucida, we didn't. Caverna del Pollo, we did. Temple of Rain, we didn't find a portal either, but I'm not sure if you actually can find a portal in the Temple of Rain. It seems like it's pretty unlikely that there'd be a portal in this area. I don't know. Alright, let's see if we can figure this one out, because we still have this mysterious switch to decipher. I get the feeling that it might actually activate something in here. Like it might... 
change something that would otherwise hurt you into something that doesn't hurt you or something. But there's no indication of what this does. Like the acid's all still there. Go this way, see if we can find anything exciting hidden over here now. Nope. Ah, go away, plants. I'm trying to find exciting things. I want to try and kill these guys first. That might make our search a little bit easier. We can get rid of the obstacles that are directly in our path. Butt stomp him and the plant underneath him. There we go. Of course, that guy gets in our way. All right, he's out of the ground now. There we go. He changed color. You know. I forgot him, and he should be easily taken out now. Fantastic. Because it might be something in there. It might also be something up here. Oh, I don't know what it would be up here, because there's nothing else up there but from the chest we've already found earlier. There could potentially be a change up at the top here, but I don't know what that would be either. Unless it needs to be in the other world, perhaps? Let's try that. It might be world dependent. Don't know what it would be, though, still. If we change this... Is there any visible change anywhere in here? No, it doesn't seem to be in here. What about on this side? Other world? No visible changes anywhere in here. Okay, I don't know what this does. Can't interact with it again, but it's telling me I can. Hmm. Let's change it back, and then we'll explore a bit further. Change it. Change it back. Okay, come on. I can interact with it now. There we go. Whoop! There we go. Back into a chicken form under this side. Is it up here, perhaps? Whatever we need to find. Nope. It is not. Nothing seems to be different over here. It's still ticking, though, so it could be that we just haven't sprinted far enough yet, but I don't see anything over here that would be changed. So I get the feeling that's not it. This is a tricky thing. I have no idea what this is dealing with. If, oh, you know what? We might just not be fast enough yet. We might need to boost our way over there. Here's what I think we might have to try and do. Here's the deal. Okay, let's try this. This might do it. We have the ability to boost off that upper wall. It shows you right here that there's a wall panel up there we could use to boost off of. So we're going to drop down. Chicken form. Run up. That might explain why we never got there fast enough before now. No, 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 no. That way. We make sure we keep flying. Ah! Uh, did we make it far enough? Not quite. If we didn't mess up that first jump, we might have been able to get all the way over here, but I find it unlikely. This is really far away. Also, there's another indication here that the, the other statue, the other one that looks just like this, is also only found by that thing, I think. There might be more of them around, but that's, that's the other one I remember. This is a nasty thing, though. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing here. If there was a way to separate your two players, then it might be easy to get in there. Like, if we had a second character who would just sit there by the egg, by the entrance. But I get the feeling you guys are locked into the same area, which would actually make it even harder to get in there. This isn't a chicken door, is it? No. Okay. Well, let's fly back, then. We should be able to do so like this. Fly all the way back across. Lovely. Okay. It might also be possible if you could get one, like a second character who's not stuck to the map to be in here to hit the switch with the other ones on the top. That could work as well. I'm not entirely sure how it works, though, so it's hard for me to say, really, which would be a better course of action. We're going to jump on here, though. And boogie! Alright, let's see if we can make it this time. Flying at maximum speed across the map. Now we have to get to even further away. There's a block with spikes! Oh, it moved! It did move! I saw it move! Okay, so that is actually what it does, and there is a block with spikes up there. For some reason. I guess that's what you're aiming for, so you can stop? Yeah, okay! 
So you hit that and you just drop from there. You hit that and you pick your ground pound into the hole. Huh. Okay, so we, we actually found it. Despite the fact that it seems really unlikely, that is actually what you have to do. Hmm. Alright, let's go back and try it again. Oh, I probably should have just boosted across, shouldn't I? Whatever. We have the easy retry thing over there. That's definitely why that platform is there as well, so you can easily go back. Alright, we're a chicken. We're up. We're on. Oh, go on. Across. We're a little bit high, but we should be able to get there. We might hit the spikes, though, which might make this a bit more difficult. Because we're a little bit too high up. Yeah! We got it! Oh, man. <laughs> that was nasty. That was a tricky place. Okay. We found another Jack Mool power up. Awesome. Twing! Now we just need the eyes. And our superpowers will be completed. We feel lighter. We can jump higher, maybe? Apparently we feel lighter. Whatever that means. <laughs> Look at all the chickens in here! So many chickens. Alright, well, let's see what else is hidden <laughs> hidden away in this place. Oh, it's just gonna drop us out there, isn't it? It is. Man, that was a nasty secret. And we're still not completed everything here in the Forest del Chivo either. Which is interesting, because that's all three of the areas that I thought we still had to go through. So we solved this, and this, and this. And they weren't what we needed. I wonder what else we have to find in here then. I wonder. Hmm. Well, let's take a look a little bit further over and see if we can actually find anything else of interest around here. Maybe I don't need to wait for you any more platforms. We can do it ourselves. I think we've gotten everything in this walkway area. Yeah, we solved that one. We solved this one. I think we've solved this one. Yeah, we solved that one. These look like they've all been beaten, so I don't need to worry about these anymore. Alright, down we go. Going back down to the bottom. Did we get this yet? We did get that chest. There's nothing else hidden up here either. Okay. We came in here already. The mushroom area. What else did we miss? Hey, chicken. He's just telling me to do that as well. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. We've already been into the tool tree, which we know is what that is. We've already been here from the other side. We've already got that chest. What else could we be missing right now? Hmm. There's something hidden away still that we haven't found. And the fact that we have no idea what it is or where it is makes it all the more infuriating. No hidden areas in here, okay. Maybe there's something else back in the room where we got the uh, the first power-up. Something else back over here. Oh, there is. There's a chicken tunnel. Ah! This leads to money, though. Well, that's too bad. Is there anything else interesting hidden over here? hole, which you've already been down, which doesn't lead anywhere interesting. Let's go up this wall. That's just a treasure room. I think now we've got everything from here. No, we still don't have everything from the Forest del Chivo. What else could we be missing from here? 
Alright, doesn't want us to go alternate world there. Hmm. We're still missing something else in here. I guess it doesn't help that this forest is massive. And that's all that was in that area. Hmm. This is a conundrum indeed. Chicken doesn't see anything in here. I'm not really seeing much here, honestly. Apparently there's something. Don't know what it is yet. Keep looking though, we're getting close. We're finding new things here anyway. I don't see a whole lot. We're almost all the way out again, too. There must be something else hidden up in the sky somewhere, otherwise, I don't know where else it could be. It doesn't seem to be in any of these tunnels. <laughs> Nothing I've hidden up in the ceiling here. Is there a chicken tunnel down in the, one of these walls somewhere or something? I don't see one. No, it looks like everything. I don't see much else in here. Right, let's go over the top of this other area again. And we'll see if there's anything else hidden up in this area. But I think that must be everything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing much else that's given me a really uh, super secret anything vibe. Although there is something up there, apparently. Maybe that's where we have to get to. I'm not sure how we get up quite that high, though. Yeah, there's definitely something hidden up there. There's definitely an entranceway. Can we boost into there from somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Alright, how can we get into there? We go jump, jump, dash. Nope, that won't do it. The, the dodge won't help us. Jump, jump, up. I can... Hmm. I don't know. So maybe what we do is we go jump, uppercut, jump... Not quite high enough. Maybe if we do my first jump as a chicken? Jump! Mm, can't turn back fast enough. <laughs> Chicken jumping does not seem to help here. I can't get quite high enough to get up that wall. There's definitely something there, though. Definitely something. We just need to figure out a way to get enough altitude to figure out what it is. I don't know what that would be. That does not give you anywhere near enough of a boost. Hang on, I bet we could jump across from up there. That should do it. it. Doesn't look like it'll be high enough, but I bet you when we actually try it out, it'll be just what we need. Nope, stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. Oh. And across. Yep, that was just what we needed. Just barely high enough. And there's another spear piece. Excellent. That puts us at two. So I'm guessing that the last area must have something. Because that looks to me like we've probably completed everything now. Yeah. The entire map is now gold medals except for El Infierno. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to end this episode here for now. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing through more of Guacamelee as we attempt to accomplish everything in this game. We're getting very close. All that remains is some Il Infierno levels and the Great Temple itself. But for now, this is it. So, until next time, bye bye